suddenly no one is talking about the Fulani herdsman again. What has happened? Joey Bukwe asked. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A such member of the All Progressive Congress APC, Abalanzi Neri, best known as Joe Ibukwe, has taken his official Facebook page to share a new post as he says, Suddenly, no one is talking about Furani Hertzman again. What has happened? According to Edu Statesman, he noted that people seem to have suddenly ceased discussing the issue of Furani Hertzman, which appears to have been prevalent. The special advisor to Governor Sam Wollon Drainage and Water Resources, who seem curious, however, asks what could have transpired, as he sarcastically asks again if they seem to have also gone into extinction. Looking at what he noted, he said, or not be far from the truth. However, it seemed very clear that the issue of insecurity caused by the unbanded appeared to be fizzing out while the forthcoming presidential election and those who are contesting seem to be at the center of discussion. Secondly, Asiwaji Bola Tinubu is known to be one of those political gladiators who is running for the office of the president. And in my opinion, he seems to believe that his boss is now one of the most talked about aspirants, which may have prompted him to react the way he did. Joy Bukwe Post reads, Suddenly, no one is talking about the Fulani Hurts men again. What happened? They just disappeared into the thin air. Abi, what is your opinion concerning this? Well, in Nigeria here, we have this kind of a character, or will I say a behavior. We do this all the time and it's not right. What we do is, we move quickly from one issue to another. Once upon a time, March 24th, if I'm not mistaken, was it March 28th, there was this Kaduna to Abuja train attack by bandits. That thing was in the news for quite a very long time. People came out, people were angry a lot of platforms carried it and all of a sudden all of a sudden it fizzled out again nigerians are not discussing about anything in security even it's a shame that even as nigerians are not complaining the government also have just quiet down is it not a shame there are two ways to look at this thing they're not discussing this thing. Even those in the hem of affairs that are supposed to be making sure that Nigeria is safe, that Nigeria is sound, they are quiet. Everybody, all eyes on 2023 election. Bravo. So what is Joy Bokwe trying to say? In my own opinion, it does not mean, it, it is not that, it is not that um, this thing does not happen. It does happen. In fact, the most recent I heard was that in Imo State, that the had men threatened to go to the Imo State and uh, to settle there, to the southeastern region. I think it was in Mosaic, oh, it's the southeastern region. So now tell me, is it that they are, are they not committing the atrocities? Of course. What am I saying? Last week, or yes, was it last week that a Edo State, a community in Edo State came out crying that the Fulani Hearts men have taken over their communities. Not one community, not two community, Like a whole community, Fulani Hearts men has taken over they cannot go to the farm. Their daughters cannot go to the stream. Their wives cannot go to the stream. That they themselves, they are careful. They don't go out to the farm again. Things are not very difficult for them. They don't have what to feed on. Why? Because they cannot go to the farm. Because these people are there and they will kill them at any slightest opportunity. And Joey Bukwe thought it was wise to come out and say this. Somebody is saying, foolish talk, who are their Kaduna train attackers? Exactly. Maybe because your grandmother of sports sponsoring. Okay. The reason why no one is talking about the Fulani is clearly the reduction in the destructive activities, which could stem from the knowledge that the days of their godfather in Nassau Villa are numbered. I feel pity and, and sorry for Nigerians because they are very forgetful. I cannot forget the atrocities that has been committed by these evil criminals. Well... Uh, it, it is not because they have reduced though. They have not reduced anything. These people have not reduced at all. They have not reduced at all. They have not. Okay. That is why it is seeming like. And me, I'm even saying, okay, fine. Even if Nigerians, we are not coming out to say this. The government cannot, from the, on their own, use their own initiative to make sure that this issue of insecurity that they follow it bumper to bumper and ensure that Nigerian people are safe. 
because you want your principal to be president by fire by four. That is why you have closed your ears to all the killing in the country, either by felony herdsman, bandits, or no gunmen, militants, kidnappers, etc. This is one of the best opinion ever. Yes. It is because you have decided to play deaf. You cannot say you are not hearing it now. There is, these people, they are everywhere con constituting nonsense. Of course they are. They are. Is this one a Nigerian living in Nigeria? This one is not current and far removed from the realities of Nigeria. The foreign headsmen have not ceased committing atrocities. The newspapers, radio, social media, etc. are all reporting it too. Exactly. He is the one that have chosen to fall deaf or claim dump. He's just the one. He's only seeking for attention from the Fulanis, but suddenly forgot that Fulani man does not give a damn interest about others except his own. Okay. Posterity will be there as your judge in the fullness of time. You have not heard of the massacre in Benue and these states and Edo State last week. Exactly, that's what I was saying. I think people should ask you and your APC members, we are the Fulani terrorists. Are you not among those who give others to pause them for a moment? So why is it that you and your APC members observe this with no, without no one else is to observe their withdrawal? God will judge you and your cabals. Okay. I think the Fulani should ask you and your APC members, where are the Fulani terrorists? Are you not among those who give others to post? Okay. Okay, I think I've said that before. One major problem with you, Mr. Boko, is that you never... <laughs> you never... You are never in touch with reality. You're always making short and millionaire statements, making it very confusing to know what actually you're talking about. This man is one of the Nigerian problem with all this babbling. Can't he voice out something good and meaningful from his mouth? Well, I think you should ask him yourself. <laughs> people know that Hasman is APC agenda, and you and Yoga don't want to say something about it, even if they're killing people from south east, southwest. So, Mr. Ibukwe, what do you expect from people? The Yoruba has suddenly gone deaf and dumb since he pretends not to read about the incessant menacing activities of the Fulanis in Benue. Plateau and Edo states of recent. Even their recent threat to the south is decent threat to the south is of the invasion. That's that's no that's no we will <laughs> Okay. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.